Could you imagine being these Dobbs right now? Oh, they're so screwed. All right, the car is about to get hit. There is nothing but... That is a wall of debris. Oh, <laughs> there go the Dobbs. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs, and today, Random Bob is back, and he's better than ever. So today, we're going to be checking out some random creations, but today has a theme. Now last week, uh, we covered the absolutely magnificent train plow, and that's where Mr. Dob got introduced here. Uh, say hi, Dob. Uh, he's kind of a quiet type. Uh, Dob has some new friends here today, and uh... But we're gonna do some more testing. We're gonna do some more uh, train testing here. And hey, look, there's a train right there. Hello, train. <laughs> oh, I love that train. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we have some new creations here. Uh, Dob. Oh, I forgot. Uh, Dob's a little gun shy when it comes to the train now. If you recall last episode, uh, it's gonna be fine. All right, what's it look like when he goes? <laughs> Yeah, uh, we'll have to track him down here in a minute, but yes, he has a dog here. I don't know the name of this dog, and no, folks, we're not going to let the train hit the dog. I like doggies. And we have a new character here. This is by MMB. This is Ragbert. This is like Dob if he was on, like, steroids or something. This thing is absolutely huge. Uh, I kind of look forward to seeing what that looks like getting hit by the train. So, we're going to be testing out some train plows today. Now, all the uh, creations will be linked down in the description if you want to download anything that you see in this episode here. And if you're enjoying Brick Rigs on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. Alright, folks. So, last episode, we had the OG train plow. This was uh, made by MMB. This is basically a ramp and or plow. And it works absolutely great. I'm loving these uh, creations that involve the city train. Well, we have a couple new ones here today. Now, this one's by War Challenger, and I also think it's by MMB. Uh, this is actually supposed to be used for snow, but yeah, you can hook this up to the front of the train. And it's got like a big turbine on here, or a big blade. So we've got that, and we've got another one by MMB. This is, oh... This is evil looking. This is another train plow. It's got the plow part. You got the little scoops in the side. And it's got a grinder in the front of it. I don't know how well this is going to work, but it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So, without further ado, let's go get our first test subject. And a lot of you guys wanted to see something big. Last time we did some school buses, we're going to go even bigger than that. We need a single big vehicle. All right, so the first contestant against the train is this Giga Liner. This is an absolutely massive diesel with dual trailers. Is there anything on the inside of these? Hold on, let's check. Hey, these are really detailed. Hold on, let's uh, top out of this real quick. I think these all open up. Uh, uh, whoa! Was that sensor-based? Uh, that was kind of cool. I think I just stood in front of this and it opened up. Dude, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> Oh, that's a really nice truck. You know, we should really do a, a diesel truck challenge again. I remember last time we tried to, uh, I think it was called Dangerous Cargo, and I tried to drive down the canyon in something that was like a car hauler. We need to try that again. But what we're going to do here first, uh, we're going to do a control test, which the control test is basically uh, stick the uh, truck on. Let's move the dog here because I don't want to hit the dog. Uh, move the truck in front of the train and let it hit it with just the train See what it does, and then we'll try it uh, with the actual plows and see what the difference is. Alright, question is, will this truck fit on the tracks? There we go. That was pretty good. Minimal amount of damage. I mean, we ripped the front bumper off, but... Nah, this is totally good. What's it doing? Stop destroying yourself. Alright, so we're going to do a full speed test here with the train. See what happens. And then we'll stick the plow on there. You know, I'm not really sure it's gonna make much of a difference with an object like this, but it might. You know, where's Dob at? Dob? Dob, I promise I'm not gonna hit, really? Really? This is where you're hiding? Come on, Dob, I'm not gonna hit you with the train today. It's gonna be okay. Uh, we're at a restaurant, I'll, I'll buy you a soda or something if you wanna come out. Uh, he seems a little afraid, it's okay though. All right, let's go ahead and wait on the train. We're gonna do this in a uh, full speed. Alright, train's in sight. Now, I think the 
this might just explode. I'm not really sure. But let's test the uh, the basic train here. Here we go. Oh, buddy. Oh. oh, oh, that was brutal. It just nailed the cab, exploded it, sent it under the trailers and flung them. Okay, so that's our test there. All right, exploding cab and the last trailer made it about to this last portion of the building. Cool. All right, so that's the control. Let's go ahead and... Oh, Ragbert, you're okay. I kind of thought you were going to... It looks like he's staring at me now. His head's turned. Anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and put the plow on, and then we're going to see if there's a difference uh, in just hitting it with the train or hitting it with the train and the plow here. Oh, this thing is so menacing looking. It's got the blades in the front. You've got the plow down here. The What's it like? The cattle hurler or something. Uh, it's got horns on it. Does that work? Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> okay, so here comes the train. Now, this one you don't have to lock down. The train just goes right up its rear end and then stops. Uh, it doesn't move anymore. I think this one's actually really stable. All right, here comes the train. We're in God mode because we have to be. And whoop. there we go. Oh, this is terrible. Uh oh, it's glitching. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Are we going to have to board? No, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, what? What? What just happened? All right. Uh, did we go too big? Was that too ambitious to start off with? It actually stopped the plow. It launched the plow off. It exploded the, uh, actually it did more damage to the, uh, truck this time. Where, wait, where's the cab at? <laughs> I see a couple little pieces of the cab. Destroyed the trailers, but we actually didn't get that big of a launch. Uh, the last launch took us out to here. Huh. You know, maybe there is a such thing as too big. We might have to do some smaller vehicles. But, I haven't given up hope. We've got another plow here. We've got the MMB grinder plow, wherever it went. I actually think it's back there. All right, here we go. Train plow grinder. Oh boy. Lock it in. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that one shot it up. You know, I think the... Wow. I think the grinders actually rode up the front of the diesel because it launched the plow. All right. That was a... Uh, ooh, that might have been the most destructive one yet. Oh, jeez. All right. So that's our... Uh, those are our baseline test with the three plows. Now we get to have a bit of fun here with this. And oh, that is so terrible. The cab's gone, the trailers are gone on that one, except for the one that landed on the roof, which it's pretty much gone. Yeah, I would have to say the grinder's the most destructive at the moment. Wow. Yeah, it climbed its way up the cab. That's amazing. All right, so baseline tests are done. It is time to get a little bit crazy here. All right, so our next creation is by X Game Wolf. This is the Turbo BTV Hotel. Now, the reason I chose this hotel to get hit by a train, which that sounds very odd, uh, is this one's built like a lot of uh, older Brick Ricks creations used to be built. This one does not use the scalable blocks. This one uses all small pieces. So if we're going to destroy something and it's going to shatter, it's definitely going to be something like this. I actually really like the way this building looks. I like the colors on it. So, yeah, we're going to set this one in front of the tracks, and then we'll set the uh, the War Challenger plow after it and see if this thing will actually go through it. Uh, I don't think it will. I think it's just going to be a massive explosion, but it's still going to be satisfying nonetheless. All right, so that's on there. You know what? Uh, Dob doesn't know what's about to happen. We're going to set Dob on top of this. There we go. All right, we're leaving man's best friend alone. All right, we're gonna grab this plow, and this is gonna be the one that we use here to hit this building. Now, we are gonna go into slow-mo for this one, because uh, you gotta mix the destruction up occasionally. Uh, make sure that's on there. All right, so we got Dob, he's on top of it. You know what, we're gonna put Mutant Bob, or Mutant Dob, on it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I told you guys, this building's made of a bunch of small pieces. Oh, no! Oh, it's collapsing! Okay, you know what? We have time. We have time. Uh, we can do this. Hold on, let's move this over here. Okay. Is this ball? That's Dob. On, swap around. Oh no, this is gonna be close. 
Okay, let's go back over here. This is taking some coordinating. Okay, the train plow's getting picked up. Stick that back up there. Oh, the train plow just bounced off. Oh, that's not good. Oh, you know what? We're gonna let it get hit anyways, and then we'll try this again. All right, Dob. Hold on. Oh, this is gonna be glorious. Here we go. And... Oh, <laughs> oh, look at Dob. Dob's flying. Oh, Bob's flying too. Oh, and let's see if we can get it. You know, we might actually, uh, we might actually need to stick this backwards. I think the train bounced off the uh, the steps of the hotel. All right, let's let it go. Oh, buddy. Oh, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> wait, I don't understand. Oh, it just projected it. How did it do that? Oh, it just flew. Okay. Well, there's your control test. Which I'm not really sure how good of a control test that was. Uh, let's try that again. I want to get the plow on. Alright, so I got a little bit of a different setup here, folks. I think you guys are going to enjoy this one just a wee bit more here with the, uh, with the hotel. We didn't quite get the, uh, I would say the explosiveness that we needed last time. So let's, uh, let's do this. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Dob was on the hotel! <laughs> what just happened? The whole hotel disappeared for a little bit. <laughs> I have no clue what we just did. Uh, okay, so somehow Dob ended up right over here. I don't. I don't understand it. Uh, and, uh, oh, there's the seat to the hotel. It's in outer space right now, along with probably the hotel. All right, I have located the hotel. It is in pretty bad shape right now. Uh, the hotel ended up here. The uh, It got hit way over here. Oh, that is amazing. I love these train plows. All right, we got to test the grinder plow out real quick on the same setup. All right, we're going to have to do this really close. Uh, this little grinder is tricky to get onto the train. It, it typically bounces more than the other ones. So let's go. Whoop. There we go. Let it go wide open. And <gasps> oh, oh, my. It actually went up in the building that time. Wait, where'd the building go? Oh, no, that's not the building. Oh my, look at the, look at the air time it's getting. That one actually shot up in the middle. I feel like we need to do that in slow-mo to let you guys see exactly what just happened there. You know, I have to say, from a punch standpoint, the uh, the grinder one definitely, I believe, gets it done. Uh-oh, did it just run over Ragbert? Oh, oh, it's coming close. Oh, it's going after Dob. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Dob, Dob, oh. It's okay, Dob. Just uh, walk it off. All right, folks, so for the next test. Now, the next test is something that you guys came up with. So we have Mr. Dob, and we've seen him been blown apart many times. And you got to wonder, is there more than one Dob? Maybe Dob's got family. Maybe there's a ton of Dobs. You know, this kind of feels like deja vu. They're all sitting here dancing on the tracks once again. The whole family's here. Uh, Dob's got a big extended family, and they're all so happy to be here on the, uh, the train tracks uh, for whatever reason, but this is gonna work. Keep dancing, keep dancing. Ignore the whole fact that there's a train coming. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no, that was bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Uh, Dob, I want to apologize about your extended family. I didn't mean to do that. You know, I probably should have put those in God mode, because I think you get the, uh, oh, this looks so bad. <laughs> There's body parts everywhere. Oh, that Dob's missing a head. You know, I think the Dob's work best in God mode, because they get flung that way. So let's, uh, let's do another test there, 
Except for, let's put him in god mode and see what happens. Alright, the Dobbs are in god mode this time. I'm hoping for a little bit more of a flinging effect. We might have to attach one of the plows here. Here we go. Ooh, <laughs> there we go. That's a little better. Okay, so they stayed whole, but they still didn't get the, uh, they didn't get the hang time that I was wanting. Hmm. We might be attaching a plow to these. I got another idea. Alright folks, we're gonna be using Old Faithful here. This is uh, the original train plow. This is the ramp one, so I think this is gonna work best for what we're about to do here. Here we go. Oh, slow it down. Uh-oh. Oh, that's going for their heads. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I might shouldn't have slowed that down. Oh, that looks... Oh, that looks bad. Oh. <laughs> Look at the Dobbs launching into the building. Okay, so slowing that down was... Oh, actually, was that a bad idea or was that a great idea? Oh, look at this one. Uh, is this one getting the most? Oh, look at these. There is Dobbs flying over the city now. <laughs> On and... Uh. Okay, let's not slow it down that time. The, uh, the train plow actually went up when we slowed it down. And it just really caused them to hit the Dobbs right in the center. That didn't work. Uh, my idea is that they're going to ramp up and then there's going to be a big explosion and Dobbs going to go everywhere. All right, here we go. Attempt number two, no slow-mo this time. All right, here we go. Boom. Okay, that is latched on. Let's get over, make sure it stays on. Oh, come on, train. Oh, come on. Come on, plow, go down. All right, here we go. Okay, it's back down. Uh, yes! Yes! Look at them fly! That worked exactly, <laughs> that worked really how I wanted to. Oh, there's Dobbs everywhere. Oh, we're gonna have like a little hunt here to find all the Dobbs. Oh, they all flew. That was so glorious. So yeah, the explosion helped propel them, but the ramp got them started up in the air. That was amazing. Hey, a couple of them even landed on the tracks. Oh, we need to find the furthest Dob real quick. Oh, there's one on the roof here. Uh, there's one over here. Oh, there's one over here. <laughs> This might be the furthest daub. Uh, let's go into the city real quick. Oh, a daub landed in between the buildings here. Could you imagine just be walking around Bricksville and a, a big dummy just comes flying from the air and hits you? That would be... Wait, did a daub hit the building? Is that why that... Is that why that has a hole in it? Uh, there's a daub over here. Okay, that one got some real good distance. There's one in the street there. That was amazing. Wow. All right. So... The train plows, they're all really good here in Brick Rigs. Uh, some people might argue the OG train is the way to go. Some people might like the ramp better. Some people might like the turbine better. And some people might like the grinder better. Let me know what you guys think. Which train plow is your favorite? You know what? We've got one more thing to do here. Folks, we're going to try to either crash the game or stop the train. We're going to line the whole tracks up with nothing but vehicles. This is going to take a second to spawn. We're going to put some daubs up here. We're going to put some vehicles up here. And we're going to watch the chaos unfold. All right, folks. We have the gauntlet of train destruction coming up. We've got more of these Giga Liners. We've got bombs. We've got RVs. We've got tankers. We've got armies of daubs. We've got three school buses, another Dob army, a car, another bomb, and another Giga Liner. So when this thing passes like it's doing right now, what I've got to do is I've got to hurry up and set everything on the tracks, which I'm probably going in the wrong order right now. Here we go. And oh, that does not help me. Oh, this is going to take some patience here, folks. All right, there's those. Oh, we got Dobbs. We're going to go ahead and set the Dobbs here. Okay, here's the front truck. We're gonna go ahead and set it up uh, Hopefully here don't explode nothing explode, please Okay, there's a bomb bomb. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the tanker up on this I probably should have free cam this Oh, Buddy, this is gonna be close Okay, you set there Okay parking brakes on we got more dobs we got, I should probably do this in slow-mo. Maybe that would have been smarter, but I'm afraid when I go out of slow-mo, 
This stuff's gonna go down. All right, set that there. Oh, I'm so glad that didn't explode. There we go. Uh, oh, you know what? We gotta go in slow-mo right now because I'm afraid I'm not gonna make it. All right, you go there and then you go here. And, okay, you know what? You exploded. There we go. No, oh, it exploded again. Come on, bus. Oh, the train's coming. The train is coming. All right, let's go like that. You know what, bus? Just go sideways. There we go. All right, everything's set up. The gauntlet of destruction. Do we want to do some full speed or we want to... I think we're going to enjoy this in slow-mo. All right, here we go. Train is almost here. Waiting, waiting, waiting. The ultimate of train destruction is about to commence. Oh, buddy. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Ooh, here we go. This is gonna be a chain reaction. Oh, these dogs are about to get taken out by a trailer. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, but they're gonna hit some explosives here. Uh-oh, I hope the other guys are safe setting by the uh, track here. Oh, the train's coming. <laughs> oh, I think we just took out Dob and the... Oh, I think the dog just got hit. Dang it. I was trying not to hit the dog today. Oh, uh, here we go. It goes to the next target, which creates a huge train plow, which runs through the bus. Look at the destruction. Oh, this is amazing. All right, here we go. Let's back up here. Could you imagine being these Dobbs right now? Oh, they're so screwed. All right, the car is about to get hit. There is nothing but... That is a wall of debris. Oh, <laughs> there go the dobs. Uh-oh, it's about to get messy, folks. It's about to get messy. Oh, <laughs> uh-oh. Oh, we did it. We did it. That is so satisfying to see. Oh, and there goes the city train. Regardless, the city train cannot be stopped. It doesn't even need a plow. It just goes. It goes wherever it wants. Look at the debris. Wait, something just disappeared right in front of us. I don't know what that was. Okay, here we go. Full speed. That was amazing. The, uh, oh, there is debris just raining down from the sky. Oh, that was the greatest thing we've ever done with the train. Look at the, uh, hold on, let's start back here. Look at the path of destruction. Look how far it reaches. That is ridiculous. We got Dobbs over here. Buses. There's the RV that was at the other crossing. Uh, more Dobbs. Uh, more Dobbs. Buses. Oh, there was the first trailer that got hit. Dobbs laying around over here. Oh, yeah. That is satisfying to see. Wait, that bomb really didn't go off? That is really surprising. It's got something on it, too. That's really surprising. Wow, it looks like a tornado came through here. That needs to be something in Brick Ribs. We need to get, like, an actual tornado. Now, unfortunately, uh, in the crossfire there, uh, we did lose, oh boy, I think we lost Dob and the dog and Ragbert. All right, so Ragbert's here. Uh, <laughs> man's best friend is, you know, he looks fine. Hey, he ended up, see, he's still got a smile on his face. You can see it, he's got the happiness. And Dob landed right beside him, I think. So, everybody's good. Yeah, that was destructive. But anyways, folks, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Brick Rigs. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I really just wanted to check out those uh, couple more uh, plows that appeared on the workshop. And those are absolutely awesome. No telling what plows we'll get next. But yeah, we'll be returning with some more uh, episodes here really soon. Got some more multiplayer plan. I got some other creations that I do want to check out. And we do have some more normal Bob uh, coming relatively soon. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Brick Rig series. And hope you guys have a great day and we will see you guys next time.